Hey guys, Roland here. Gonna give you a little video of the map preview tool. Had a request for some information about this, so I thought I'd create a little video and and shoot it your way. Um, the seed I'm using is Mad Mole, and the size is three, which is about mid-range, which is gonna make it take a long time to load. Uh, your options are small, which is one, which will be a long time to load, up to five, which is an eternity to load. So uh, just be prepared. Uh, these preview tools are really cool, but they do take a long time to generate. So I'll probably skip, uh, uh, I'll definitely skip through some of this. But uh, one of the things I just wanted to um, kind of note as we, as you look at the preview tool that I'm going to show you is uh, the socket system, um, which uh, has vastly improved the uh, way that cities are generated in the terrain. No longer are they kind of is a like a bowl shape scooped out of the terrain and then a square rectangular city plopped right in the middle of it. Now cities are just placed um, organically into the terrain and uh, so there are actually slight elevations and uh, uneven terrain within cities and there's no cut out bowl shapes that kind of ruin the aesthetics and the and the immersion. Cities also have districts which mean that residential type uh, buildings are all clumped together. Uh, commercial buildings are going to be together and um, and manufacturing and you know electrical plants, utilities, those sorts of buildings will also be grouped together. So they look a lot better and even within residential there's upscale and trashy parts of town uh, that uh, just give each city their own character as you kind of explore that. And you can see there's many many towns and cities, at least in this seed, so there's a good density of exciting places to explore and go to. And because each of these cities are going to be unique now, uh, it gives you much more of a reason to want to explore and go outward. So, uh, and then you know, going forward in the future, as more and more uh, prefabs and POIs are added, uh, you'll get cities that have you know, it's not going to be the same buildings over and over again. Each city will have could possibly have something that the other ones don't. So that'll be something exciting as we go forward. Uh, into the future and more buildings get added. Uh, one of the things that you'll have to discover for yourself is the controls. That's as I, you can see as I was uh, kind of learning them here, there's no tutorial and there's no on-screen legend for how to navigate around the, the map preview. Uh, I discovered that holding the left mouse button and moving up and down uh, increases or decreases your elevation. Holding the left mouse button and moving left to right will kind of move you forward and backward a little bit more quickly. Of course you can also use WASD controls to uh, to move just like you do in the game. And then the right mouse button uh, rotates so um, and tilts, rotates and tilts. So uh, it's it's pretty intuitive you know you'll you'll figure it out as we as we go, as you go and, and play around with this tool, um, and I imagine that down the road, uh, once you know development continues, they'll uh, you know put in a little uh, control legend um, so that people can uh, see exactly how to move around in, in this uh, in this mode right here. So as you can see, it's great. Look, there's a road right there. There's a couple roads that have. Uh, they're slanted. They're going downhill. Part of the city is at a higher elevation than the than the other part, uh, which makes makes it a lot more interesting. Uh, each POI or, or prefab has information that you can look at, which I would suspect is kind of information that's important for people that are going to be making their own prefabs and wanting to add them into the into the mix. Uh, one really uh, cool tidbit that I can leave you with as, a, as we close this uh, video down is that uh, Kinyaju just the other day um, wrote a note that he had fixed the um, 